Now I guarantee you ain't about to be talking all that stupid ass shit you was talking when I was driving. I no. guarantee you that. I'll tell I tell you what. I, I guarantee you ain't about to be talking all that dumb ass shit you was talking. Get let's get the fuck out this truck. I'll fuck you up, nigga. Fuck is you talking to, You're blood? You talking no nigga here. Fuck is you talking to, blood? I'll That's beat your motherfucking ass, homeboy. Fuck wrong with you? I'll beat the fuck out of you in here. You better watch how the fuck you talk to me. Well, I told you. I don't give a fuck what you tell me. Watch yeah. how you talk to me. You will get fucked up in here, Dave. Straight up. What would you do, man? What would you do? You're 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 a trainee on a truck in Tyreek's situation. In Tyreek's situation, uh, mm -hmm. y'all get into uh y'all y'all get into an argument. Well, first thing first, do you do you feel uh that was Tyreek in the right or wrong for the way he came to uh came to Dave or or what? I think they both wrong, to be honest. Okay. Speaking, like, first on the, let's speak on the trainer's part. Like, as a trainer, you know, obviously, you know, your student is going to be new. They're going to make mistakes. But you still got to remember, regardless of what happens, you still, you know, have to be professional. You know, you got to talk to your student, you know. As if they're adult, you can't like try to down talk a student. Like a trainer has no right, you know, cussing at a student, raising their voice at a student, regardless of what happens. And also, like he could see his student, you know, was getting frustrated. But you have to remember, like you don't know how your student reacts. You know, when they're in a heated situation, you don't know what their mindset is. You know, they could easily do something reckless, like intensely crash the truck. So if I was in that jump seat, you know, I would have just end the argument altogether because if you're not saying nothing back and forth, you can't argue by yourself, you know? And I would have demanded that he all that. I would have called, you know, the company and let them know, you know, what's going on. But I wouldn't have gone back and forth, especially while that truck is in motion because you don't know What's going through that driver's mind? You know what I mean? All right. All right, D, man. Well, let me go ahead and keep it moving, man. Uh, so you said if you was in that situation, you would have just ended it and said nothing at all. And just. Yeah, I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to argue while somebody has their life in my hands. Because like Ooh. I said, you don't know what he would have did. You know? Okay. Okay. Uh, well, let me ask you this before we go. Uh would you would have asked, of course, would you would have asked him to pull over? And after he pulled over, would you would have gotten the driver's seat? Yeah, I would easily say, hey, <laughs> let's, let's, let's pull over. And like I said, I don't want to look at this as a pride thing. You know, I would have swallowed that pride. Like, you can yell at cussing. But at the end of the day, you're, my life is in your hands while you're behind that wheel. I would have easily said, you know what, let's pull over. Let's go to a truck stop. You know, let's regroup you know cool off or whatever you know and while he's inside you know doing what he needs to do you know i would have called the company and had him removed from the truck asap right right all right all right truck you know, let, him, let him think that things are cool you know and then just like put him out the truck alley pants what's your thoughts i would have literally parked the truck on the side of the road and walked home or got an uber I would not have, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have even taken it back to the terminal because it's just so disrespectful mm -hmm. and there is absolutely no reason that you should ever subject yourself to that kind of attitude. There are so many trucking jobs out there where you're not going to have to deal with that mm -hmm. and where you shouldn't have to deal with that. So that's what, now, man, I watched that and I'm like, mm. not now that's what you was now that would you would do as the trainee, right? Yeah. Now what would you do yeah. as the trainer? If for some reason uh a student went off on me like that, it's get the equipment back to the yard and you know, have a, a conversation with the powers that be and say this just isn't gonna work. And I'm not doing that. And if you can't find better people 
you know, if you can't find somebody who can handle their shit better than that, then we're going to have serious problems, you know? As the trainee, what would you do in that situation? As the trainee, um, I probably would have just shut up because I'm there to learn. It's not my truck. I would have just shut up and I would have just asked or I would have called somebody higher and say, you know, I need to come back to the terminal. Mm-hmm. He, the trainee was wrong. You know, it's not his truck. He just got his CDL. He's out there to learn. So he should have just be quiet. All right. Well, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's not a, it, it's, it's not about uh, the, we, we already know the situation between Dave and Tyreek. I just want to know okay. what would you do in that particular situation? If you was in, if you was in that situation and you was the trainee and the trainer was kind of like going off on you like that, what would you do? I personally, me, I would have politely asked him to not holler at me. Don't talk to me in that manner. Mm-hmm. And I would have just shut up. All right. All right. And I would have been on my phone. I would have been on my phone texting mm-hmm. to try to get out of his truck. All right. Now that's that's the trainee. Now you're the trainer in that exact situation. What would you do? Mm-hmm. If I was the trainer, not knowing the backstory, but if I was the trainer, I wouldn't have been so damn aggressive. I mean, trainers. Well, let me let I me what, what, them- wait 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 let me, we already we already know how how you feel and what would you do it, as the trainee when the trainer would you know would would uh disrespect you know talk with you in disrespect on the flip right. side on the flip side of that Tyreek is is literally going off on the trainer what would you do in right. that situation if a trainee went off on you like Tyreek did the the Dave. If the trainer went off no, on tra- me, the trainee trainee went off on you. Trainee, yes. yes. If, like I said, if the trainee went off on me, yes, I would just ask him to not speak with me in that manner, and I would just shut all the way down. I would text because uh, I wouldn't call. I would be texting to try to get off his truck because that would be the best thing to do or have or have they're, him they're or have get along. or have the trainee get off your truck that's that's a uh, get off your truck that's what you mean all yeah. right all yeah, right the train. All by right. way let me tell you this i think a lot of people train i know of course because they want the money uh, l- but l- you gotta l- be able l- to l- get along l- let's l- let's mm-hmm. l- the 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 topic is not about that is the topic is i'm going to try to keep it simple is what would you do in that situation so was was the the trainer was he a lease driver uh i technically don't know the backstory of of either or i i'm just keeping i'm i'm just keeping the topic as if you was in that similar situation uh, as Tyreek and Dave, as Tyreek or as the trainee, what would you do if, you know, the trainer talked to you with disrespect? And then on the flip side of that, what would you do if a trainer went off on you like Tyreek did? I feel like I'm not going to agree with everybody else. Because the one thing that's in the back of my mind is, is if I was that trainer, and then you, I went and I watched the other video on Asian Mice page. Okay, so you go, you go watch that video, and you listen to to the little dude talk. Okay, he says that the L- week l- before. Listen, 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 hold up, listen. <laughs> we don't have to go through all of the all, all of that and that and that. All I just want to know is if you was in that situation of in in Tyrese if you was the trainer what would you do if the train uh I'm not trainer 
we're going to start with the trainee. So if you was the trainee. If I was a trainee, what you, would I do what if would you, just yelling at me like that? Yes. What would you do if. I'm going the to the nearest truck what, stop and pulling over and he can uh, have it. Okay, hold hold on, hold on. Let me let me let me finish so I can get so I can get a clear uh clear answer from you. So as the trainee and the trainer was talking to you with disrespect, what would you do as the trainee? Go. Keep my mouth shut, pull over, call the company. Because him losing his no, uh, no, 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 no. We're not like talking. That, about, no, 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 no. We're talking about you. I would, oh. I would not lose my cool like that. Oh, okay. That, that, that literally that shows um, childishness. Um, you do not always meet somebody uh, where where they're at. Like uh, just because someone's being childish or or they're talking to you with disrespect, you, okay. sometimes it, it it causes to be the bigger person. Where in that situation you are the rookie. So they might be saying something that you need to hear, but just not necessarily in a way that you want to hear it, where that's where the issue comes in. It's people don't know. How, don't, I want to be spoken to in a certain type of way, and you didn't speak to me like I want you to. Okay, you got a bunch of grown-ass men who just talk sometimes. They okay, not, we, not, we, we don't I'm, have to go off. Gonna, uh, 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 Allie, we don't have to go off the rails. We just need to keep it on the track. Now, I guarantee you ain't about to be talking all that stupid ass shit you was talking when I was driving. Yo. I guarantee you that. I'll tell I tell you, I, I, I guarantee you ain't about to be talking all that dumb ass shit you was talking. Get, let's get the fuck out this truck. I'll fuck you up, nigga. Fuck is you talking to, blood? You're talking no nigga here. Fuck is you talking to, blood? I'll That's beat your bullshit. motherfucking ass, homeboy. Fuck wrong with you. I'll beat the fuck out of you in here. You better watch how the fuck you talk to me. I told you. I don't give a fuck what you told me. Watch yep. how you talk to me. You will get fucked up in here, Dave. Straight up. As the trainer, all right. As the trainer, what would you do in this situation if the ter if the trainee popped his cork like Tyree did? Okay, so I, I feel like there's like precursors to questions like that. So like, if that's a company, if it's a company trainer, it's a company truck. You are just training these company drivers. Then the way that the attitude that he got, I feel like, was a little uncalled for. The 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 thing that pops in my mind is is let's say this was a lease purchase driver. Uh, and, no and, no and, no you know, no, they're, they're, no, Allie 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 Allie, we going off the rails again. See, no, there, no 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 no. That's how if, I know, that's how no, my brain works. No each situation. No no. Is require for you, a different feeling. No 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 no. If you yourself was the trainer and your trainee went off on you like Tyreek did, what would you I've do? I've had it happen. Okay, so I've what? I've had a trainee go off on me like oh, that. Okay, so what would you do? I put him the fuck off the truck. Okay, there you go. Straight. I shut up. I completely shut down. Okay, like straight. I didn't argue with the situation or nothing. But some people can't take constructive criticism, and it's not me being an ass. I'm not talking to you disrespectfully, but you don't understand the concept of following distance. Get off of their ass. Okay. And oh, okay. some people. Okay, that's it. Straight answer. That's all I need. <laughs> Charlotte, what is your thoughts? Now let me Bart, break it. Let, now let me break. No, 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 no. Let me break it. Let, no, no, no. Oh, Carlette. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. Carlette. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh -huh. Carlette. What is your thoughts? As the trainee, you. We talking about you? As the trainee, what would you do in this situation if the trainer talks to you with disrespect? It depends. I mean, I can understand somebody getting worked up like that, depending on what all the trainer had to say. We um, we need we need we, we need people out here. We need we need to keep it on you. <laughs> okay, well that's what I'm saying. Okay, so I don't I don't tolerate disrespect. First of all, there you go. Okay, because I I I, I lead with respect, so I don't tolerate disrespect. So if I'm sure at some point it built up to that, you know what I mean? 
you know, it, it, it that 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 gentleman didn't just blow up all of a sudden. It, it's something, it, it's something that's it's, been been, occur, been occurring. Car, car, Carlette, over time. Carlette, we're not talking about the video. We're talking about you. What would oh, you do? Okay, okay. <laughs> well, well, we we are talking about the video, but okay, I'm not. I, I'm not going to tolerate disrespect. There you go. Okay. And if I see if I see that the disrespect is happening mm-hmm. over and over and over again, mm-hmm. more than likely I'm going to reach out to the company and I'm going to request another trainer. Facts. Because Our- you already you you already I already know where it's going to end up going. Facts. And just to uh, prevent that from happening. It's best for me to go on and get out their truck. All right. If now you can't respect me, mm-hmm. we can't we can't work together. I can't learn from you if you cannot respect me. All right. Now, now you as the trainer and your trainee went off on you like that. What would you do at that moment? Oh man. Mm, there you go. Oh man. Okay. I... Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. There's, I'm listening. There's, <laughs> oh, we there's there's probably a few different uh, areas I could I could yeah we could, we can we can get them up because you ain't gonna be talking to me like that. <laughs> that's first of all. <laughs> now that that's that's you you pull the truck over talk about now nah, I ain't driving. We can get them up. We we may we may be about to get them up because yeah you're not gonna be talking to me like that. Mm. Uh, another part is you gonna find your ass about my truck that's what you gonna find your ass you say right then and there (laughs) right then and there bottom line because i'm not taking i'm not taking no i'm not taking no threats from nobody i don't give a damn if they idle or not i'm not taking threats from nobody i'd be damned if you disrespect me in my own truck Hell to the nah. Carlette ain't happening. Carlette said, you, you, "You not playing. You you getting up out of my shit right then and there. <laughs> you, you getting up out of my shit. Real talk. I be damned if you gonna think you gonna muscle you gonna muscle me and my shit. Nah, that ain't happening. Now I guarantee you ain't about to be talking all that stupid ass shit you was talking when I was driving. I guarantee you that. I'll tell I tell you, you I, I guarantee you ain't about to be talking all that dumb ass shit. She was talking. Get, let's get the fuck out this truck. I'll fuck you up, nigga. Fuck is you talking to, blood? You're talking no nigga here. Fuck is you talking to, blood? I'll beat your motherfucking nigga. ass, homeboy. Fuck wrong with you. I'll beat the fuck out of you in here. You better watch how the fuck you talk to me. Well, I told you. I don't give a fuck what you told me. Watch yep. how you talk to me. You will get fucked up in here, Dave. Straight up. Trucking nails. What is your thoughts? So, as the trainee as the trainee (laughs) you are the trainee in that situation the trainer talks with you with such disrespect what would you do in that situation uh well i wouldn't argue with him you know it depends on how bad you want your cdl like i wouldn't argue with him you know you're on a power trip you just have to be calm just be prepared for the bs but again, I'm a woman, and that was a grown man. You see the difference? Now hold, okay. Now hold on. We're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep the focus on you. All right. Now, as the trainer, you are the trainer, and mm-hmm. in that situation, the trainee pops his lid like like the young man did in the video. What would you do? Mm-hmm. Calm down. <laughs> Because I know my life is in his hand because he is behind the wheel. I don't know what he has something to live for, but I do. And it's my truck. He might wreck my stuff up. So I will calm down. You know, I'm a calm person. I just have to assess the situation. But I wouldn't, you know, you just have to have some calming methods. I think they should teach trainers that. Anyway, now, you just can't get someone because they've been driving 20 years and now they can train somebody. That doesn't mean nothing. Now, now, uh, Nails, uh, so she said now. You know, a couple of other drivers said that, nah, brother man has to get out of the truck. They they not going to take that type of threat, disrespect towards them. And you're exactly right. You did touch on the fact that uh, he was driving. He was he, he was driving. Your life is in his hands. Uh, like OTR Diva said, that he could have 
you know, ran off the road or whatever the case. So mm-hmm, made me nervous. Right. Yeah. So with you in that with, with you in that situation, uh and the trainee, uh and the trainee was talking to you with such, you know, such disrespect, would you uh, of course what would I mean, would you would have had him to go to like a truck stop and then park there and, and, and be like, yo, safety, I'm gonna think I'm gonna need this dude off my truck. No, I win. What? I win. Because if you think about it, you're going to train all kinds of people. That's a challenge for you, right? The success is to go through that, to get them to the other side. How do you uh, maneuver through hard conversations with people? How do you convert them over to the way that you see things? So you got to get into people's minds to get them to see how you see it. That's a trainer. Training is sociology and psychology. You teach us someone to do something they've never done before. They don't have frustration, difficulty, low self-esteem, low confidence. They might have gotten the trucking because of financial insecurity, right? So you got to deal see what you're dealing with. They should have an assessment. So once you see someone's background, because the FBI does it, the CIA, the police does it, mm. they call it profiling. Mm. So if you don't even know what you're dealing with, how are you going to convert them over? I'm like, oh, well, he talked to me crazy. I'm going to put him out the truck. You don't never train nobody. You know, I say, okay, let me step back and see how I'm going to come to them in a different way. And not my, you know, me, I train people all the time, people I don't care about or people I don't like, some people I do, right? But my goal is to help get them to the other side. I got to say to my goal. So if he having a personal matter or he having a bad day, you know what I'm saying, sometimes you got to step back. That's that pride. But, I, but you know, the win is I'm not going to put you out, you know what I'm saying, because I want you successful. So let's see. Let's come up with a plan. Okay. Because you're here spending your time and your money, and I'm here to make you successful. And your success and your completion, that means I taught you how to do something that no one else could. Okay. So how are we going to do that today? OTR Diva, what is your thoughts? So as the trainee, you, as the trainee, what would you do in that situation if the trainer was talking to you with such disrespect? I mean, I would have asked him in the polite way. I wouldn't have got hostile with him. I wouldn't have gave him the same energy. I would probably just say, like, hey, man, you know, can you, uh, you know, refer, you know, not being hostile with me and talk to me, talk to me like, you know, an adult. And then, you know, if he couldn't do it, I'd have tune him out. All right. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have from confrontation back with him. All right, all right. You got, one so, of y'all got to see who's the bigger person in the situation, and neither one of them was the bigger person. All right, uh, you, as the trainer, because you been in some situations with trainees, maybe not as right. extreme, not as extreme uh, uh, like that. Well, maybe it was. But you, as the trainer, because you are a trainer for Stevens, am I correct? Correct. All right. So you as the trainer, what would you would have done if the trainee popped this cork like that to you? I would have been a done deal. We'd have found a safe haven. They'd got off the truck. I wouldn't. I ain't gonna argue back and forth with you. So we'd have found a safe haven, and I'd have been on the phone with Stevens, and you would have been off my truck. You said you would have dropped that cat off right then and there, huh? Yep. Now let me ask you a question. Now let me ask you a question because you you are a a, a certified trainer with uh, Stevens Transport, and you have been for quite a while. Uh, as a situation like that occurred, um, you tell Stevens uh, about the trainee. Would Stevens would have kept the trainee on? still and put him on another truck with another trainer or would they would have just said okay uh we don't tolerate that type of disrespect to our trainers at all and we we're gonna have to let you go they probably would have um got him back to the yard talked to him and everything like that the training department safety would have talked to him and then um find out what all went down and stuff and they probably would put him on another trainer truck Okay. Okay. <laughs> what? What's give that? Another, give another. 
give him another, um, op- you know, another trainer to see if, you know, the situation be better. All right. So, mother trucking mom, what's your thoughts? And no, not on, mm-hmm. not, now here, here's the scenario. You, well, you already seen the scenario. So, you, mm-hmm. as the trainee, what would you do in a situation if a trainer would talk to you with such disrespect? The same motherfucking thing. No, <laughs> no I'm playing. Uh, I would definitely know. I would probably get mad too. Like, you don't, first of all, sometimes trainers have this God complex. You know what I'm saying? In which they do hold everything in the palm of their hand almost. But, you can't talk to people like this. So I know for me, if somebody would have talked to me like that, I would I would have definitely first I would have been like, yeah, and you need to watch the way you talk to me. And if it went further, I don't, I just don't think like I think he's threatening to beat him up, and that's probably the problem. We're, we're keeping it. We're keeping would, it. I, we're keeping it on you. On 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 you. What would you do in that situation? Me. I would have, I would have definitely just pulled the truck over or find a, found a safe place to pull over, and I would have immediately called somebody. Because I know for me, it's going to go all the way left. Because I'm definitely getting out and whooping your motherfucking ass. All right. I don't, you know, I don't, we, we're only going so far. You're not going to disrespect me. You're not going to holler at me. You're not going to touch me. Because if I, cause for the most part, we're going to keep it professional. So oh. if it would if it go that far, we gonna, I'm going to go ahead and pull over because. I'm going to have to let them tell. I'm going to have to call in. Hey, y'all need to get me out this truck. All right. Now, now, as the trainer, as the trainer, you're the trainer in that situation. What would you do in that situation if the trainee got disrespectful the way the young man did in the video towards you? Um, I would have just let him get his feelings out because that's, that's that's one thing. Once you done already got somebody upset, you, the only way to defuse it is just let them speak their mind, say how they feel, and you you have to keep a calm tone. You have to keep a calm tone of voice, and you've you got to be like, okay, I hear you. I understand. I, I'm sorry if you felt like I was talking to you in a disrespectful manner, but that's not how I meant it. You know what I'm saying? You have to try to calm it down and bring it back. And if they still keep going, you you know what I'm saying? You need to pull over. Make sure they sit there and talk to them still in the same calm manner. And if they still want to go and they still want to get disrespectful, pick your phone up and go ahead and call somebody and let them know what's going on in the truck. And you get in the driver's seat and take it on back to the yard. Now, I guarantee you ain't about to be talking all that stupid ass shit you was talking when I was driving. I guarantee you that. I'll tell I you gar- right now. I, gu- I guarantee you ain't about to be talking all that dumb ass shit. She was talk- get- let's get the fuck out this truck. I'll fuck you up, nigga. Fuck is you talking to, you blood? You talking no nigga here. Fuck is you talking to, blood? I'll That's beat your bucket. motherfucking ass, homeboy. Fuck wrong with you. I'll beat the fuck out of you in here. You better watch how the fuck you talk to me. Well, I told you. I don't give a fuck what you told me. Watch yep. how you talk to me. You will get fucked up in here, Dave. Straight up. All right, so you see the you see the vid, you see the video. Now you got the scenario. Now you, as the trainee in that situation, what would you do? As a trainee, uh, you know I've been a, I want I want in a similar situation when I was at CR England. All right, but, so you, we, we talking, we, we we talking about you, D. We talking about you as the trainee in that situation, being you know talked down or talked disrespectful. What would you do in that situation? You know, I will find a nearest truck stop or a safer, you know, pull over and get out. You know, I'll take a couple of deep breaths because you know. You know, when you have two men like that in the truck, you be ready to swing. You know, you know, you don't know what. You could be dealing with something. You know, you only get take so much. You could have so much pressure on you. But when somebody talking to you like that, you're like, hey man, <laughs> we could pull this truck over and we could fight, or I could get out the truck and you know take an hour break, you know, to calm down. Okay. Then I will call, you know, I will call the headquarters, you know, I'll call the carrier and say, hey, 
Hey, I don't feel comfortable riding with this person no more. All right, all right. Now, um, ask the trainer in that situation, and the trainee kind of pops his cork and disrespects you the way the trainee, uh, the, the way the young man did in the video towards Dave. What would you do in Dave's situation? You know, I would, you know, I would tell him like stop the truck. You know, I would tell him to stop the truck, and you know, have to make a call. You know, he feel threatened because you know it looked like he was about to swing on Dave, but yeah, I, you know, I have that situation. You know, where where my uh, student went off on me. You know, so uh, you know, I tell him, you know, stop. Stop the truck, you know, on the shoulder, not on the shoulder, never on the shoulder, but on the ramp or somewhere safe or big enough for a truck to stop on. Being, um, being on both sides of it, yeah, it, you know, it's been time where, you know, I had people that trained me that didn't know what they was doing, but I never got loud. You know, my trainer, my student, he, he got loud with me. Um, you know, he was older than me. Uh, I remember I tell you the story that he took my truck when I was at Love's, but you know we you got to be safe first. So safety come first. The job you can always get a trucking job. You can always go anywhere and work whatever if your driving record good. All right. But you know always stop the truck. Always stop the truck because your safety. You know there have been times where you know a student got killed or a trainer got killed on the truck. You know. D, can you hear me? D? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, we're going to keep it on the rails, bro. <laughs> you, 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 saw, you saw the video, so you know the scenario. So if you, you, uh, as the trainee on that truck, you, as the trainee, what would you do? Well... I did a little backstory. Uh, no, 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 Mississippi, no. We're going to have to stay on the rails with this one. What would you okay. do? What you, you see the scenario. You see the scenario of Tariq and Dave. If you was in, uh -huh. if you was in Tariq's position while Dave was disrespecting him, what would you do? He would have been asleep. Say what now? No, they would have been asleep. <laughs> now, oh. You can take it however you want to take it, but he would have been asleep. All right. Now, night, night. Now, on it. now, if you was in the trainer's position and the trainee popped his cork like the young man did in the video, what would you do? He would have been asleep also. I'm one of those kind of people that I try to avoid certain situations because I can't deal with high stress situations like that. Because the reason why, I understand, both people have to listen to each other. And they both have to be respectful of each other. And um, Dave, the other guy, and they both have, all have to be respectful. Oh, but yeah. as a train, trainer, the trainer has to listen to the student also. All right, all right. So, so we're going to stay, we're we going to have to stay on the rails with this one. All right. You saw the video. Now you know the scenario. So, Nifa, okay, as the trainee, you being in that scenario, as the trainee being taught to disrespectfully by the trainer, what would you do? I would definitely have to put my pride and my ego to the side. Like, because he talking to me crazy, but at the end of the day, when I started off, I was broke. So, like, I knew I was doing it for my dick. So, as soon as I talked to the people at the terminal, I asked for another trainer to get off that truck back. I just have to eat that shit.
I ain't even gonna cap. I would eat it because, like, where I was at my life when I started, I needed the money. I would have ate that shit. I'd have, I would have asked him to, like, talk to me respectfully, but I'm not about to argue with you, bro, like, because I know why I got on this truck. All but, right. All right. I don't like nobody to puff bitch up at me, though. That was lame what he did. That All right. Trailer, uh, that we, we're going to keep it. We're going to we're going to keep it on the rails. All right. All right. Now, you, Nifa, as the trainer being talked to after af, after the young man popped his cork. And he was talking to you that way as the trainer. What would you do? Kicked his ass off my truck. <laughs> like, it's my shit. <laughs> like, if I was a trainer and you popping off, you telling me you're going to beat my ass blood, oh, yeah, you got to get the fuck off. No, you, you, you got to get off. Now, you got to get off. Now, 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 my now, life is in danger. <laughs> <laughs> now let me ask you a question because you, you know you. Beat me up. <laughs> now let me ask you a question because you know you now work for Epps and all like that, but you you can't you came along the way you know from Swift, uh, Cardinal, and the rest of them. But let's just take Epps. No, them was the only two. Let's get that right. <laughs> Just whipping car and no I ain't no truck jumper. Like, I don't be jumping like that, like that. You feel yeah, me? I feel you. All right, so let me ask you this. Uh, we're going to take Epps, and you was, or you, let's just say you were a trainer at Epps, and that scenario popped off, and y'all got back at the terminal, and you explained to safety about what happened. Do you think that Epps would put that trainee with another trainer or do you think Epps was just turn to the trainee and be like no we can't we, we can't accept you because of that disrespect I think he would be able to get another trainer and then I think as a trainer they would train me or either take that position from me because you say you represent the company you can't be out here cussing out new truck drivers and shit <laughs> No, what the fuck would you do if that happened to you? Oh my nah, god! No, nah, man, no. Nah. You, you know what? I'll eat. tell you. I'll, I'll tell you. Hold on, right quick. Let me let me go back on the record. I will tell you what I would do. I be, I will tell you what I would do. I um, I I was lightweight in a similar situation. Okay, so okay at, at U.S. Express when I first started. They put me with a young, you know, mm -hmm. with, they, they put me with a young Jack. You know, it, it's his first time training and my first time driving a truck. So I felt some kind of way when he kept calling me student. And I felt like I'm not a student. I'm not going to school. I, I went to school already. I, I went to school to get my CDLs. School is over with. So when he kept calling me that, I, I turned to him and I said, hey, uh, I said, hey, my guy, I says, um, let's, uh, you know, let's get some uh, some boundaries together. I'm I'm not a student. I'm a trainee. There's a difference. All right. I'm I'm not your student or anything like that. You're the trainer. I'm the trainee. Let's let's keep it on. Let's keep it on that line right there. All right. So that was the first thing. All right. So the second thing, the second, the, the second thing, and I'm about to put it back on the rails. Uh, the second thing was, you know, he was disrespectful and I looked at him and I, you know, I pulled the truck over to the side and this is what I would do in this, in that scenario. I will pull the truck over to the side and then park the truck and me and him will have a, a, a grown man conversation like, bruh, I, I respect you as a grown man and I want you to expect me as a grown man. I'm, I'm not saying, you know, because of the age difference and all like that. I was 45 at the time and I think he was like in his 20s or something like that. But um, but I want you to respect me as a grown man and I'll respect you as a grown man. If we're going to if we're going to if we're going to be here. We're going to have to respect one another. And respect starts with to how to talk to me. You know, so we're going we're gonna to do that. You know, let's, let's, get some, let's get some deep breaths. 
and all like that because I I understand you 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 trying to teach me and I understand I'm trying to learn. You know what I'm saying? And maybe there's a few things that I'm doing wrong along the way. I don't have a problem with you critiquing me on what I'm doing wrong. You know, so I can just make sure that I do that I make sure that I do it right. If I'm if I'm riding on the yellow line or if I'm riding in the middle line and you happen to look in the mirror mm -hmm. and you see that I'm about to cut a car off, calmly tell me what I'm doing wrong. Don't just holler mm -hmm. at me because hollering at me is not going to work. All right. So, yeah, and don't talk at me. Right. Like, I don't like for nobody to talk at me, talk to me. Right. There I'm you a go. human being with human emotions. There you yeah. go. All right, so that's what yeah. I would do. That's what I would do as the trainee. That's what I would do mm -hmm. in, that, in, in that scenario. As the trainer, nah, bro. I, I'm gonna need you to pull this truck over. I'm gonna need you to pull. Listen now, hear me out now. Uh, do mm -hmm. me a mm -hmm. do, do me a favor. Uh, do me a favor, driver. Pull over to the mm -hmm. pull over to the shoulder, and I'll I'll mm -hmm. go I'll go ahead and drive. Uh, what I'm gonna do, we we gonna I'm gonna drive over to the uh to the petrol pilot flying J loves or whatever. Mm -hmm. We're gonna park right there for a minute. I'm gonna have to make a phone call, and you're gonna have to catch a flight back. <laughs> mm -hmm. You you're gonna have to catch a flight back because see right now you're threatening me. Right now my life is in yeah. my my life is in uh -huh. danger. My life is in danger while you in this truck. And I and it's not about to be another Texas thing while I'm sleeping. That's not going that that's not yep. going that's not going to happen. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but as far as right now, our our time in this truck is coming is is at an end right now. So I'm going to need you to I'm going to need you to get all your stuff out the truck and you know, call safety up and safety will get you back to the uh get you back to the terminal. But as of right now, even uh, shit, I'll drive this motherfucker in violation. That's how. No, sure. That's do how me uncomfortable favor I feel. Fill me in. Huh? What is the Texas thing you speak of? I said, do me a favor and fill me in. Uh, what is this Texas situation that you speak of? Well, I, the young, I, I don't know well, the young man, the, the young man, uh, a Warner driver. Uh, this was about a uh -huh. year, about a year, year and a half ago. A Warner, a Warner, uh, -huh. uh a Warner driver, a trainer. <laughs> Uh, killed this, uh, -huh. kill, uh, not a trainer, but a trainee killed this trainer, stabbed him to death while, while the trainer, wow. yeah, while the trainer was asleep, uh, he finally got sentenced to, I think about 20 or 30 years in prison, man. But yeah, he, uh, he, he stabbed this, uh, he stabbed this trainer while he was asleep and they, the cops called him. He got out the truck. He walked, he walked like. He walked some miles, you know. Somebody saw, somebody recognized him from a, from a uh, new, from the news. They called the cops. Cops came and swooped him up, and he just got a. Uh, and wow. this year, this year he just got sentenced. This year, so yeah, it ain't gonna be another. No, it ain't gonna be that. It ain't gonna be that. That's why wow. I said I'm. I'm gonna need you to pull over. I'll drive, but you don't have no hours locked out. No, 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 no. Don't worry about it. I'll drive. And I'll, you know, I'll, I'll take the L on, on my HOS. You know what I'm saying? I'll take the L because right yeah. now, right now, my life, I feel like my life is in danger. And while you driving this truck, you know, anything like but happen, you could drive this motherfucker off a cliff, <laughs> you, you know, to try to they make your, <laughs> yeah, to try to make your point. That's not going to happen, my G. So, but yeah, that's in that scenario. That's, that's what I would do. I, that's what I would do. I, if I was the trainee, I would calmly, you know, have a have a grown man talk with him. If I was the trainee, uh -huh. and if I was the trainer, I, I would have to get him off my truck. He he would have to get yeah. off my truck. So yeah, that's that's what I would do. Want you to love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Want you to make me.